Peace. Today is Wednesday, September 12th. Making today's math. Knowledge, wisdom, all being born to understanding. Oh, man. That is the universal family right there. Man, woman, and child. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding, gases, liquids, and solids. That's how we moving on this day. Peace to the gods and earths. All right. Hey. Yo, yo, yo. Hey. Peace to the gods and the earth. That's right. And we are about to born yeah. something new right now. Right, right, and that's right. the motherfucking you know what I mean live stream with Lord Jamal, Rod Digger, Digger. And, and the homie. Featuring the homie Godfrey. Peace, yeah. peace, peace. What? Ah, you didn't right. know. Back. Come uh, on. Thank, thank you, you for coming back. Uh, I mean, yo. We needed you back because the, la- the last episode we just filmed was very explosive. People was <laughs> losing it. They said, "Listen, the, the cats are like screaming on me, like if you, Lord Jamar, don't and Raw Digger don't get something consistent, you guys, they they was going crazy because you know you shoot something, you do it, and you go whatever happens happens. You right. know what I mean? Right. And it just like everybody's just like the yada me, the yada me, yo, what? And I say, do you know how far Lord Jamar is? <laughs> right. right. I yeah. hope. Well, the Jersey yeah. shit is farther. You, and I, and I got here later than you. you so. All your stuff is far. I know. And we hopefully. When we start balling. Yeah. When we start balling. We're in Manhattan. Exactly. We'll go somewhere in Manhattan. We'll exactly. Have a spot. Exactly. <laughs> Man. And we'll be sending all kind of cars and shit like that. If you're balling on a budget, you got to find the nice shit in the outskirts. <laughs> and so I'm going like, further away. Yes, I'm playing that scene. Well, you pick me up by the boat. <laughs> First of all, if you want to if you want to donate to the show and help the family uh, on, you know, what we need to do to build this empire because we are not funded by any networks no, or anything like no. that. We are straight up doing this out of the love for the people and want to bring you that information. So go to that uh, description area, click on that link, that Streamlabs link, and send your donation. This is that. This is Project Manhattan. It's okay? actually very funny that he just picked you off the boat. Pick, uh, off From the boat. The boat. Yeah. No, it's like, <laughs> Godfrey just got off the boat. Oh, oh shit. No Meet me at the docks. <laughs> Meet me at the docks. Meet me at the right? docks. There's going to be a guy named Louie. You're fucking <laughs> wet back. All right? <laughs> He's a wet back. <laughs> it was like weird. Stat- like, what is <laughs> I was at a Dairy Queen eating Sundays, <laughs> waiting on Oh, my dinner. God. He goes, dude. First of all. Go inside. There's all kind of stuff. There's an all bar bar pain. Dairy Queen and stuff. But, 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 but why is all my pain, pain, pain closed? Is it off the chain? Off what? the chain. A really? pizza parlor around here, uh, around the corner from your house. Oh, yeah. Is it that? Down, down, down the block. We just, yeah. We that's just my shit. That Tony's people? Probably, yeah, yeah. When yeah. we were, we just went to that. Make good money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right next door. Is that good? Yo, they got, listen, there's Italian shit around here. This oh, is I fucking, mean, it's real it's Italian. fucking yeah, Italians. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hey, yo, I'm talking hey, about, hey, forget hey, about it. Italians are about it. Right. Right. Hey, what the hey, fuck are you hey, talking hey, about? Hey, yo, that, that, you know, get the free food, yeah, Okay. That pizza's good? Damn. Oh, that's right. I was going to ask you that too. I was like, man, is that pizza good? But I, he, he like literally just went into the bodega and thought maybe that pizza's whack. No, it actually is good. It actually it, is, is good. Is it um, nah, it's like, it's, like, it's like good old just New just York. Good. I'm a thin crust person too, Me but too. the Italians, you know, they, they, they just say, hey, get a sauce. So get tell, sauce. so why are we here? Why are we so, doing this right now? Because usually we, we do, uh, we shoot our episodes and then we segment them through the week. Yeah. But in our last episode... So you're probably wondering, what are we doing in Jamar's house? Yeah, <laughs> that's where we're at. We're at my crib right what now, basically. Just yeah. streaming on a webcam. So let me tell you what happened. So, you know, we show up and we do our regularly scheduled Godcast program. And um, naturally, we had to address um, that name, which we will not <laughs> bring up today. His name is Voldemort. I'm going to say right Voldemort. His name is Voldemort right now, okay? So, <laughs> so we were going to, um, you know, we were going to touch on that for a segment. And, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we go through our topics. However, being that this was um, actually uh, Jamar's official response, we deemed that it warranted some extra extended time. But what we didn't want to do to you guys 
was give you a whole week of that which we don't speak. <laughs> we so, didn't want to give you a segmented. We didn't want to give yeah, too much time to do this whole Eminem shit. Yeah, we didn't want to do Monday. When, I'm see. I'm not. I'm not mentioning his name at all. That, that is a buzzword for him. I'm staying far away. This from whole Marshall matter. Yeah. We didn't we we didn't martial matters matter. We didn't feel it was fair to the Godcasters to just like to just, you know, kill y'all with that Monday, Wednesday, right. Friday. And Monday. I didn't feel like it warranted that much attention right. to, to to try to stretch it out and 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 milk it like that. Right. Like it's not that serious. Let's just get it out there and let the people see what the fuck I had to say about the shit. So tomorrow, please tune in to the Godcast, because that's going to be the official, you're it's like an hour and a half. Get full, you're gonna, on a Monday, you're going to get the whole extended, now, uh, all now, three segments. In now, now, let me warn you, Digger is very annoying in this episode, but it's okay. We still love her, and I don't want you to, to, to be mad at her after this, because we still love her. Although, oh. she was a, a tad bit annoying in okay, this episode. Okay, so his side of the thing is, <laughs> oh, this is fire. This is not, oh, the God, oh, oh, get the devil out of here. You know what my side of the fence said? Oh. Nigga, if you feel that strong about it, shut the fuck up and take your ass in the boots. Oh, How about it? damn. Now, <laughs> <laughs> hashtag lyrics matter, hashtag born to born, and that's all we're going to say about that. Hashtag... Who says it matters? Cause lyrics and it's are, like that. Let him, let him lyrics tell ain't it. the only, let the only him, thing let that him matters. Tell it lyrics. lyrics do matter, he but they ain't the only lyrics. thing that matters. It's a small thing in him. It's a creation. <laughs> it's, it's, small. it's not a small thing. No, but it's see, not the biggest thing. You make it one of the biggest things. For it's me. Not, but it's, it's not the biggest. Right, the biggest but I'm telling me. you from a but, real hip-hop historian who has been here before you. And I'm a real hip-hop who is a real hip hop historian? I'm, no, I'm a, a historian. Oh, though. You don't even listen to niggas' albums. How are you? <laughs> you, don't, you don't listen to niggas. <laughs> mi- you don't listen to original mixtape. You, know, you don't listen to Cold Touch. You don't listen to Force MCs. Hip hop connoisseur. This is great. You don't even listen to niggas' albums. Come on. As you can see, there's because niggas is whack. Because niggas is whack. That's why I don't listen to niggas. Because niggas is whack. You can find inspiration anywhere. You can find inspiration in a piece of shit on the floor. Because guess what? That piece of shit is going to remind you of the time when your mama bought you your first pair of shoes. I don't find inspiration anywhere. And you stepped in the shit and it took you to a... a, I find inspiration from things that feed my soul. You find inspiration. Only there do I find inspiration. And in Jamar's land, in Jamar's land, women don't count. Other races don't count. Jamar's opinion is the only opinion. That You're goddamn right. This is the You're goddamn right. And until you fucking come to the grips with that, and then you'll fucking you'll have a better life. In order to get <laughs> so listen. So 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 the point being, we spent a lot of time, just like we did, on Eminem with that last shit. So a lot of things have happened during this week that we felt like. We have to we address. have to address this shit. We like, basically have this to call was, an emergency. Uh, this, do you, want, you, you don't want to smoke? No, no. Okay. No, no, no. This was a power-packed week of fucking just news and hip hop yeah. shit. Wow, Peace to the God free. Thank you. Um, yeah. Yeah. This was just a, a lot of shit happened. So we said, you know what? We need to have an emergency session, almost. An emergency Sunday session. So the God Godfrey had hit me up, and he was like, "Damn, do y'all only uh, film on Wednesdays?" And I was I like, know. "Well, guess what? We were thinking about filming over this weekend yeah. because of what happened with the Eminem shit, yeah. and so much has happened, and we feel like we can't wait another two weeks to address this mm-hmm. fucking. We need to address this shit now. Like the people need to just hear what the fuck we have to say right now. So." We were like, I said, hey, if you really want to do this. I said, man. And you know I just got back from Russia. You guys no. Oh, I was in Moscow for eight days. You were the Ruskies? Ruskies, not for sure. Get what? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I was in Putin land. Okay. And yeah, I did I did a comedy festival. Wait, so so, so have ago. I was in Moscow. So you're telling oh, jokes yeah. to Russians. Let me tell you how and it, it translates. They called me, they they got in touch with me like 
two months ago, and my agent's like, they want you in Russia. I was like, for what? They're like, they want, they're doing a comedy festival. It's their second annual. It's a place. They want to Skype with you. And they Skype with me. It was two comedians, Russian comedians, this one girl who's a producer. She was like, Godfrey, thank you for Skyping. We're very happy, but we have comedy festival that we would like, like you to be on. Like, yes, like, we looked at many comedians in America. We figured you have, your jokes are very global. We understand everybody big fans of Godfrey. I'm not even playing. I was like, word. And then, this is when I know Russia's gangster. They gave me the money. Like a month in advance. They was like, you have the money already. I was like, what? He's cops. So I came. I know, and that's right. Isn't that the best? <laughs> it's the best. And then, I, and then what I did was I came. They, I was going to be there for three days. I came for eight. I said, I want to come early because I want to go around Russia. I want to go to the museum. I want to go to everything. Because, you know, you hear about Russia. You hear about right. everything. I said, I'm going. And so I hung out. I went to, I partied every day with them. They had a big old party for me when I first got there. I walk in, everyone's like, God free, God free. God free, God free. And, they're, and, they're, and, they're, and they're just going, Nino, but then if you know the nation, no God free. And a lot of them, a lot of them could speak Spanish, <laughs> most of them can't, but they're like, oh, we're very happy. You, your comedy, very good, happy, number one, yes. Wu Tang. That's where they kept going Wu Tang a lot too. It was That's the fallback. And like, you know what? Their Russian hip hop ain't that bad. Yeah. They got this dude named Oxymoron. He's done stuff in America. They do rap battles in Russian. They do. They do roast battles in Russian. I had to watch a bunch of Russian roast. They call it roast battle. Mm. They said, "You come to see? We do many roast battles. We do uh, hip hop. They love um, our culture, of course." And I and so I was the la- I was the headliner of the whole festival, so my show wasn't until like seven days. I was there for almost a week before I started. My all I had to do was one. I did. I was supposed to do forty minutes. I did an hour in two minutes. This is how it went. They had um, an interpreter for oh, me wow. in a you booth. Your jokes? In a booth, and everybody had headphones on. I was doing comedy for the UN, and the shit worked. The dude who interpreted was dope as hell. He knew how to speak English, whatever, but he followed me exactly the way I did my jokes. This shit like was crazy. That, it was the crowd laughing right there. Laughing the hard, laugh. yep. Like, right and there, I wasn't when going you delivered the punch, it didn't take No doubt. Effort. I wasn't going, like, super seconds. fast, like crazy. I was just like, boom, boom, talking normal. And the guy was like, well, look at me. And I was like, you know, he, he did me in Russian. Nice. Damn. And they went, ha, ha, boom, 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 boom. Everybody got it. Some people didn't need headphones. They understood. Hmm. Some people did. But it worked. So Because they wanted to see if they could open the channels to more American comedians. Okay. You know what I mean? So, you know, they study us, man. They study us like nobody's business. So Why it worked out. they do that at a rap concert? What? They just have, interp- have an interpreter there uh, interpreting the rhymes to the to there's, Yeah, there's Maybe. a guy named Gamora I listen to. I like this dude. Can, can like Sodom some? and... Like and I don't play no music. No, you can't do that because you'll get in trouble, right? Well, they'll try to. Ah, but his name Gamora. It's like you know the Russians are very somber. Oppre- you know they're just mm-hmm. depressing kind of. They, it's like because of their politics and whatever. And then you hear their rap music; it matches mm-hmm. because they're they like are. they're they are man. Hard. When I tell you, love it. They are, the women are like that. The men are like that. Mm-hmm. Just no one is and like vodka drinking vodka, all day, all day vodka, vodka, vodka. Yes. Not a problem. Shout out to Edwin Padilla. Yeah, he said peace to the gods. All right. Shout out to Deval. He said, "Yo, Godfrey, how was your Toronto show?" Toronto show. I just got back today. It was dope. All the shows were dope. Even though it was during the Toronto Film Festival, people still showed out nice. I love Toronto. You know, Toronto is like the Africa of Canada. Mm-hmm. It's all Caribbeans, mm-hmm. Jamaicans, Africans, yeah. Indies. So it's I love Toronto. And Toronto is big as hell, and it's metropolitan as hell. You know, mm-hmm. you know, and it's dope. So Toronto went good. Appreciate that. If you want to uh, ask us a question, we're here for that. Just uh, mm-hmm. click the description, click on the link, uh, send a donation. And <laughs> no, 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 we not, we not even, I'm not even into, I'm not even, I'm not even, I'm not even looking at that, that other list. I'm only looking at the list of people that's clicking that link 
to support this shit, and I'm shouting y'all out, Send and I'm money, and I'm answering your motherfucking uh, questions or whatever the Let's fuck, go. or shouting out whatever you want. So do your damn thing and and go money. to the description Send box. Send lots go of money to the description to box. Damn it! And we love y'all, but. This is publicly funded, so let's get it. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, go ahead. What, what do we want to talk about? Because oh, there's so where, much shit. Where, where do, do we start? begin? Right, right. That's, th- this is reason for, for said um, <laughs> emergency gathering. Um, well, first we have to extend our condolences yeah. to Mac Miller yeah. family. Rest in yeah. peace, Mac Miller. All of his friends and family. Um, I was... Uh, I, I I can't even pro I was like, damn, you know, tw- yeah. twenty six years old, overdose. Yeah. Let me tell you. It's unfortunate. Yes. A lot of these uh this generation I'm not artists. Um, I'm not a fan of no white rapper really. Okay. Yeah, oh, no. But there's some white rappers that I do like, okay? That when I hear them I'm like, he's not bad for a white rapper. And Mac Miller was actually one of them. Right. Um, awesome. Like, I, I like Vinnie Paz. You know, I even, f- like, R.A., the Rugged Man, is my boy. Like, I actually, that's my boy. Like, you know what I mean? We cool. Yeah. Um, and he can rhyme his ass off, although he be saying some crazy shit sometimes, too. Um, but I, I say that to say... I don't care black, white, or whatever the case may be. I don't want to see anybody, you know, come to an, an untimely demise. No, you understand what I'm saying? Right, like, right. this young man was 26, 26 years old. Man, come on. And, yeah. you know, he definitely seemed like one of those that really loved hip-hop. You know what I mean? He's like, like. Too. I mean, he's <clears throat> he's been struggling with addiction for a, a, a while, and he, um, I think um, he just recently had a breakup with, with Ariana, Ariana Grande. Right. right. I say is that, and they say, well, that might be me. Let's say you shouldn't kill yourself over any damn body. I mean, first off, well, he, even he, but even prior, he, since their breakup, I think there's been a couple of instances like he. he, he he totaled a car, like he, you know, he's under the influence. I, I think yeah. he just was, you know. When people had, had did, he get it kind of fast? Don't he got his emotions recently? Did he get? Fake? I don't know his family structure. I don't know. I know he's multi talented. He played piano. See now, I, now I actually don't. Yeah, know. he did play piano. Because like like kind of I think he he wanted to sing before his music he was is, is very musical. Like if you if you listen mm-hmm. to his music, okay. like he he's very um. You know, it's it, it very um. I I I guess what's the word like emo rap? It, it's yeah, very you yeah. know. It's, it's but it's, yeah. it is a, it is emotional. Like he mm-hmm. talks a lot about you know. He it's like he kind of sounds sad. You know, but a lot of times there's like people throw up little red flags. But it's kind of reminiscent of XXX a little bit like that. The, yeah, the song, man. And I don't. But he can. But he can spit. <laughs> but people. But even in our era, people killed themselves. I mean, look at Robin Williams. I'm just saying, there were people who had, I think people who have this mental, mental problems. People were just not handling it right. Especially in our business, where you surround yourself well, with a bunch of re- yes men. Well, there's there's suicide, and then there's just straight up overdose. There's, there's, it, because there's people that are overdosing that probably didn't mean to commit suicide. But, yeah. But did, but, yeah. you know, you just in a way, they far. may, maybe they did. You understand? Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. there's conscious suicide, and then there's that subconscious, like, I know I'm doing something that could possibly kill me, yet I'm going to do it anyway. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Where, as there's the other ones that know, like, all right, I'm slitting my wrist. Like, yeah. there's different degrees to different things. So, my thing is, you know, there's a lot of this emotional oh I'm so sad you know she left me and I'm yeah. I'm sad and lonely and I'm suicidal and now I'm taking these uh you know prescription pills which is making me more clouding my judgment and and shit a lot of the side effects sometimes of these pharmaceutical drugs are fucking suicide and yep. shit like that 
You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if you feel suicidal after taking fucking barbiturate yeah, or whatever do, yeah. the fuck, like, like, how many times have you heard that? So, again, this is part of the bullshit. This is also part of the legacy I was talking about of people. I don't know what you're talking about. This is part of the oh, legacy that I was talking about in the episode. You'll see tomorrow, but, you know, people want to take credit for. For the inspiration of certain, you know, rappers and shit like that. Well, then you got to take inspiration for all the shit you've made popular. And, and, so and being sad. Yeah, but, 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 but stop. Stop trying to defend this. We're talking about him right now. So now, dude needs to take responsibility for trying to make being emotional over your broad popular. And fucking... Fucking with pharmaceuticals and all that type of shit. No, I'm just saying, like in this in this case, and it's funny that on that list he he didn't name any white rappers when that's who he all he influences. Like every white rapper is influenced by Marshall, but um, so we got to look into that and say, God damn, because you know maybe these guys exactly, and he's he's the. He's the frame of reference for them. So the fact that we're here now with a Mac Miller is like, who is he looking up to? You see what I'm saying? And the fact, and and Marshall's lucky that he didn't overdose when he was in the prime of his bullshit. But this this kid did. And some of these other kids might. And yes, I know fucking, you know, black people fucking do bad shit too. But in this particular case, you know. We just got to look at, at, at all the influences of everybody and all the players. There's also another thing, too, is a lot of times people are lonelier than what you think. You know, because you're surrounding yourself with people who ain't shit. They're phony as hell. You don't have people that come around you like, I like my friends, because they'll be like, nah, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, nah, I nigga, think, no. That's like, a, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you need, you need that. But they won't surround themselves with that. People are afraid to go, Something ain't right with you, man. It's, What's it's, going it's on? It's a symptom of stardom. It's, it's yeah. you know, it's a such thing as being a prisoner of your own fame. Like, yeah. and, and even you, like, you don't even have to be a big superstar to like no succumb doubt. to it. Like, of course, you know, I have to You'll be a regular person. Yeah, you can. You no, know, even if you after you do a show, like it happens because you, you do a show and people are giving you all this accolades, and it's not, and it's like, okay, what if I wasn't doing this? Would I still be? You know what I'm saying? I've, I've had, you, you have it as a performer. You get that. Where you everyone's like, man, you a guy. And you're like, you know what I mean? What if I wasn't doing this? Shame shit? is like a drug. It like, really is. It, it fucks Not people a, up. It, it drives does. them crazy. I mean, it does. you know, this look at this folks out there right now going yeah. going crazy. So, yeah. uh, Edwin Padilla, um, he wants to. We were going to get into this anyway. He wants to address Cardi B's lump on her forehead after the fight. And now this is something that we didn't bring up, but I kind of heard rumblings about this. And maybe I'm going to have to Google this right now. He said, and young buck coming through the closet. No, you know, do I call them out, right? I don't know. Well, I don't. I, yeah, I, I didn't hear that. He I heard some it. rumblings that he was messing with a transvestite or some shit like that. I don't know. Tell me if well, I'm wrong. Please a, explain a, it to me a, right a, now. I mean, and and they gotta be like, you know, we we need more details. For one, I, I you know, was let's it, talk about Cardi B, and trans, I'm gonna Google this just, young buck hey, thing. Just, just so you know, just just so you're aware, you know, transvestite and transgender is two different things. That's like best side is a man dressed as a woman. Yeah, tra- tra- right. And a transgender is the one that right. had the op. But yeah, that's, like, that's yeah. Gay. They're the ops. That's in the, yeah. that's in the game. They had the op. Yeah, that's in the game. But the, the transvestite is like one cut it like off. Tall, like yeah, no, that's a transvestite. Yeah, they, that's, yeah. that's that's gay realm. One cut it off. Yeah, but that's that's different from but was he like like transvestite or transgender. That's what I said. I like, don't I know. Mean, we gotta yeah. Google this. But let's talk about Cardi B right, first, and then we'll and then we'll. So, so shout out first of all, Edwin Padilla. Thank you for your donation. Um, How much? No, I'm just kidding. It's not like well, <laughs> enough to get a shout out. <laughs> okay, so the story I'm getting about the lump from Cardi is apparently um, th- there was an event at there was it was the Harper's Bazaar event at Fashion Week. Nikki is here in 
New York. In New York. Okay. Cardi is in attendance. Um, so apparently there um, there's some comments that were being made. And, and to my understanding, they didn't come from Nikki, supposedly that they were like just other comments on social media. Like people talk, you know, what the stands do. Yeah, like yeah, they're just course. always talking shit and allegedly Nicki Minaj liked was liking the comments. Uh, so I don't so I don't know but people who are actually like monitoring yeah. who's liking who, who's yeah. like following who yeah. but and then there's okay. something about bringing the babies of Cardi B's baby into the Well no, it was the the comments were about Cardi B's uh baby or her, not not at the mm. baby, I think like just maybe her parenting skills or whatever. Undeserved, and, and, not right. And Nikki, Nikki supposedly liked the like, comments. That's corny. So when they saw each other at the event, um, Cardi approached Nikki. Nick, Nikki was with a crew, and Cardi was. Um, it's blowing your nose. Not like you dragging across the floor. <laughs> We have booger interruptions, sir. And he's trying to sneak in though. He's like, I'm like, there's something. There's something scraping across the house. I'm like, what is that noise? And somebody's like, they want to shout out. Like, little by little. Yeah, he's like this. Like, he's trying to fart on the elevator to find it up. Hey, yo. So, you know. So wait, what, dude, what the fuck? I'm sorry, All right, so Cardi wait, B. No, 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 okay, so Cardi sees uh, Nikki at this event and steps to her. So I guess she move, she moves away from her, whoever she's with, in the process of doing that. Yeah. And um, she says whatever she's saying to Nikki. Um, Nikki's security team, you know, they assume the position, and one of the security guards accidentally elbows. Um, Cardi in the head. So that's where the, because at first it was like, oh, Nikki lumped her up. Oh, Ra Ali, you mm. know, from, from Love and Hip Hop yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, did it. But, so, but, but they, when they heard Ra. But the reports came out that a security um, elbowed her. Now, here's the thing. Now, I'm home minding my business. Binge watching Ozark on Netflix. Oh, oh and, Ozark! Uh, I gotta get back to it. I didn't, I didn't even season. know the new shit it was out. Sure. Second season. I'm ready. So I'm home minding my business, yeah. and I look on Twitter, and come to find out, I was trending because I because when people when people were saying, "Oh, Rod jumped," right? In, you know, a, a lot of people, like most people that know Nikki, know she rolled with Rod Ali, but a lot, but there's a also, there were a lot, a lot of people apparently enough to. Have me up right. there trending, you awesome. know, in the mix with them. Yeah. Um. They heard. They heard the name Ra yeah. oh. and assumed Ra, that automatic. I was, you know, in <laughs> this fight. So I'm getting Cardi fans cussing me out. Like, oh, I'm man. why am I fighting Cardi? I'm getting other people like, when did you become Nicki Minaj's bodyguard? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just getting all kind of shit. You see how stuff I'm gets like, really? When Nicki Minaj. Been- Cardi B's album hit. Oh wait, certain. you know what? There's a there's, that, all right. There's another that, piece of info because uh-huh. um, you know now that all these different reports are coming out. It, it was also said that um, Cardi walked by Nicki and, and and Nicki stepped on her dress, like stepped on her train. I, I mean, I don't know if it did any damage to the dress, but that was but that that was something else. Nicki that seems was, to be initiating the hate because Cardi. Put Cardi there. B is, and and just from, I'll sometimes watch Cardi B's lives, because she loves to do lives without her makeup, and she hangs out with her parents a lot, mm-hmm. and she would just be like, she will be like, you know, I know I know this business, there's a lot of phony people out here, man, I'm not about that, she's, a, she's not the most articulate person, but here you can see she's genuine, she know, and I think, this is just my opinion, I think she knows that this is not going to last long, she's just like, I'm gonna enjoy this shit while this. Okay. I know there's a. I think she does. This is what I. This is my opinion. Just from listening to her talk, she's not. I don't think she like Nicki Minaj is the type of person that really loves this fame shit. She loves that she has a baby. She she loves it. I don't necessarily think Cardi B loves it as much as Nicki Minaj. Well, I, I think, well, and so I, when I Cardi knew, got the shine and broke records, Nicki started hating on that I shit. Knew, 
I, 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 I think knew, they both love it. They're, I Cardi's Cardi is not as comfortable with it as Nicki. Exactly. I, I knew. I knew when Cardi didn't go on tour with Bruno that she wasn't really like right. in the mindset of like artist, artist. Because you, she's supposed to have that baby and hit the road. No, no. Strap the baby on the back and roll. Yeah, but she's like. She's a very you know, regular. Bitch community. like me was performing eight yeah. months pregnant. Like, wow, right. if, you know, if you're an artist, artist in but that you, way, I mean, but you like, having a kid ain't Cardi don't do this. <laughs> Cardi don't do this. But I mean, just being like an artist, artist. Like, right, if, but if, she, you, if you had the artist, like, you, she, even if she wasn't the most talented, like, right. if she had the artist, artist mentality. But she doesn't. It's it more be, like a so. popularity. See, Cardi got her popularity from the reality show. Right. And her personality, she's funny. You know, just being That's funny. Like, yeah, she is. She's really funny. She makes fun of herself. That's why I think she knows in her head, like, I know I can't really handle this. I'm not really that person. Yeah. But she knows. She probably didn't expect, you no, know. No, not it, to, it, and the blow up is scary, or, or blow up. the level, I would be scared too. Like, like this, oh, there's 30,000 people. Come out of here. Come now, out wait, out hang on. She got hit by a shoe or what the fuck happened? No, no, no. Oh, the shoe. Shoe. I saw a lump I lump. I it was a no, shoe. no, no, no. She threw the shoe because once, but Who threw it? No, her, her security did that to her. I saw well, something like that. No, the, um. <laughs> she got a knot on her head? Yeah, she got a knot on her head I... from, uh, I guess, you know, the security. <laughs> like the Mike Green shit? Ah! Yeah. Oh, and the, the security dude. She, she got elbowed. And security, security. Is a, they usually like. You know, that's, that's the and security. And Cardi B got a little head. So once they got separated, Cardi took her shoes off and started throwing her shoes at Nikki. Wait, so how did she get the lump, though? The security guard supposedly lump, lump. elbowed her. A security guard. So, so Nikki didn't do that. No, 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 no. Oh, so there was never no actual. No, like those two didn't rumble. No, but uh, but the, but the, the, the Nick Nikki has put it in the air for that she's like shitty with Cardi B, as if it's her fault that now her record. Now, if if or, or if if, if if somebody else's security elbowed me and gave me a speed knot like that. Soon. I would have my security whoop that security's ass. <laughs> like I'm just saying. Like, I mean, if you know, when you get to that level, you roll with security. First of all, so I've never see, rolled with security. You know, security in my life, security. as far as I hire some security. Like if I ever had a security, it's because like the club puts it on. You yeah, or yeah, like right. that. But I've never had personal security. But I roll with people that have security and shit mm-hmm. like that. Um, so I know how that whole world works and yeah. shit like that. And so I'm just saying, if I was the type of nigga to have close, security, so. I'd be like, yo, that motherfucker, I'd be like, that close. Well, I'd be like, that motherfucker's security elbowed me. Whip that motherfucker hand. Cardi approached Nigga. Cardi approached Nigga. Whip his hand. No, she approached her. Oh, approached her. Oh, approached her. Oh, approached her. No, she approached her because she, again, the story is, Cardi approached Nikki because she got wind that Nikki was supposedly liking comments. Oh, gotcha. About okay. you know about her and her yeah, her, 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 her parents and stuff. Ah. So once they all got once they got separated, well, you know once both security was pulling them apart, then Cardi took her shoes off and threw them at Nikki. And, and there's video of it. You can see her yelling in the video, "Bitch, come in." Bitch, come in. Like, she's, you know, she's going nuts on and, and Nikki's, you know, in the corner with her security. And she's like, I'm right here. And then, I mean, just at, at that point, it was just. At a bazaar. A of, at a, at, at that like, point, Ooh. it was a bunch of yelling back and forth to each other. But, I mean. Wow, it's a real battle. So. Yeah. Okay. Hang on, and now. I'm seeing all the commentary. Of, oh my god, I can't believe this happened. I mean, hey, this is what females rap about. Like, hang what, on. Why are you surprised? Why are you surprised that folks are about that life they're rapping about? So, 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 my man Taval, right? He yeah. already donated. He the one that said, "Yo, Gant Godfrey, how was the Toronto show?" Oh, appreciate that. He man. now wants to know. He said, "Can Digger explain how she got on the Touch It remix?" Hmm. And and tell the chat to stop playing. You know how much money we give to people that don't look like us every day. When y'all are live, I try to support as much as I can. Peace. Get them donations up. Peace to Val. That's what the fuck I'm talking <laughs> about. Y'all go to the description box. Yeah. Click that motherfucker. 
Do you understand? I got Godfrey in my crib. Yeah. I got Rod Digger in the oh, crib yeah. on a Sunday night. I could be Sunday. watching the season finale of motherfucking uh, Power. And, and I'm here. Black Girls Rock is on. Black, Black Girls Rock Yo, my, is my, on. my daughter used to go to Black Girls Rock. Shout out to Beverly Bonds. Beverly Bonds, Bond, baby. Support Black Girls Rock. Donate to Black Girls Rock as well. My uh, my daughter used to go uh, attend the program actually oh, for like cool. about See, it was like a DJ, three or four out, like, years. A DJ program, right? Well, yeah, Beverly. Like, well, I don't know how it started, but it ended up being like a summer camp type of thing yeah. where That's so you cool. know they they uh, uh, go to the dorms at NYU and they take them on different That's you so know experiences good. to meet like female CEOs right. and wow. shit like that yeah, and girls, and yeah uh, different people come in and talk and yes they would also have like little DJ take them to the so Scratch Academy girls. and yeah. teach them yeah yeah, yeah. I awesome. went to that one and actually yeah. uh, helped teach the class that day um, nice but anyway yeah so shout out Black Girls Rock but I could be watching Black Girls Rock. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I could be. We could doing... be anywhere in the world. I could be anywhere in the world, but, but we, we here to, with you. But we had to do a whole other podcast because this yeah, motherfucker won't I... stop talking about we that. We Shaolin movie. right now. That which we will not bring up. We Shaolin. We he Shaolin. spent the whole damn production on one thing. No, she, she she kept combating me. I could have did it in twenty minutes. Actually, I she want to fucking. Want to punch. You know what? I kept. Fun. I was fucking. She want to. I, I, I confess, I was fucking with her. She wanna act like she I'm in like, love. I don't think that's what he meant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying a whole bunch of them. <laughs> yeah. Y'all gonna see tomorrow. Wait till tomorrow's episode. But I let's think not, he really deserves it. Let's, let's not give it away. Look, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna go to fuck Savages. <laughs> I love it. I think if it didn't pay this too. <laughs> 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 so what do you think? What do you think about the machine gun Kelly? So hold on, 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 hold the brother done donated twice now, so okay. we're going to go ahead and oh, answer. Let me answer this question. Can okay. Digger explain how she got on the Touch It remix? Okay, so boom, bust it. Um, boom, bust it. We're about to get real oh, organic in here. Like I'm about so to walk old. off camera and go to the bathroom. That's so old school. Bust boom, it. bust it. All right, oh. so boom, bust it. <laughs> boom, blah. Bust, bust it. it. Um, and I passed the mic. So, um... Touch It was 2006. So this was like around the time when um, taking people's songs and just turning them into your own songs yeah. was really popular. Still yeah. happens. So, I mean, it's still happening, mm -hmm. but like then that was like, like DJs were actually playing that on the radio. Like you, you would damn near forget who the original record came from. Yeah. So that was something that I was doing all the time. Mm -hmm. Like I would literally like, I would have something for Clue on Monday. I'd have something for, you know, Envy by Tuesday, mm -hmm. K-Slay by Thursday. Yeah. Like, I was, like, yeah. not um, knocking them out. And um, and I did one um, for Buster's solo Touch It. Like, when I did that verse, it wasn't the whole mega remix. Like, none of that was even a, a thing yet. Mm -hmm. Like, I just did this verse over Buster's. Um, joint and I, I hit him up. I was like, "Yo, I want you to hear, you know, I want you to hear some shit I did to your Touch It record." So when I sent it to him, he was like, "Yo, I think I'm gonna make that the remix." In fact, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna see if I can get such and such, such and such, such and oh, such, shit. and make a remix. So then I guess so many people, you know, by the time he reached out, he was like, "You know what? I'm gonna do a girl version. I'm gonna do a guy version. Then I'm gonna do a mega version." So there was a girl. There was actually a whole. 16 with me, a 16 of Mary, a 16 of, of Missy. That was like the whole girl version where he just do the hook. Then there was like the whole guy version, which was Papoose, DMX, and, yeah. um, and Lloyd Banks. Woo. And then, um, heavy. And then there was like, I guess, uh, you know, for the pirate radio, you could play the whole eight minutes of everybody yeah. 16. So they put the big, they put the extended together. But once they put it together like that, like the way the world hears it now, they um they chopped us down to eight bars because okay. that was the way that we were gonna shoot 
the video. video. Oh, okay. So that's mm. that's how that ended up. There it is in a nutshell. Huh? Yeah. Now you know. I know. Go ahead and touch it. After everybody did their verse, I was like, hey, wait a minute. You know, I did some little recreational shit to your <laughs> record. Had I known Mary J. Blige was going to be busting and DMX and all these other motherfuckers was going to be busting, like, I might need to revisit that. He did not want me to change my verse. He was like, no, sis, you body dead. Like, wow, some cool. things don't have to be yeah. overthought. Just, yeah. just, just let it rock. Because wow. I was feeling a way, like, I don't want to be talking about shorty pussy better than mine and motherfuckers all, and Mary J. Blind, 700, better, that's the first week of myself. I'm like, this bitch is spitting. <laughs> like, I want to spit now. He's like, no, no, you spit all the time. Stay where you at. <laughs> Just stay there. Just stay there. Right. So, wow. That shouts out to the touch of remix. But nah, we ended up, uh, we performed it at the BET Awards and, um, did you did you see we when he brought Eminem out for that? Oh yeah. Dear. I guess I I don't know I don't know if there's an actual audio recording mm-hmm. of him. Um, but he 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 came out on uh, our BET award performance. That was 2006. He actually brought um M out and um and he spit he spit a verse. Oh. To to that joint, I, I that was like a surprise to the crowd. Rock, he rocked it, right? Yeah, he rocked yeah, it. Yeah, right? he, he rocked it. Like you know, I had on our black shit, but I don't um, I don't recall hearing any like audio oh. recording of that. So I don't know if that's something that was done and you know released that way. But it was a, it was like a special live performance at the award. Freddie Sharkey in the house. That's hey, crazy. girl. <laughs> What up? What's that, up? What's up? That's people watching? Touch it. People uh, watch? The people watch? Yeah, people watch. I don't know. You know you have that face that doesn't change, so I don't know. You're touch like, it. Touch <laughs> it. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. They're also crazy about touch it. Oh, they're watching. <laughs> touch it actually uh, bought flip mode a, another year of Rod Digger because I was actually done. Like, I was You're on done. my... I was, no yeah, I was done. But, you know, I was still... I was doing my Rod Digger rhyme shit mm-hmm. and I just so happened to do a Busta Rhymes song, and then it became a thing. Yeah. And then once we put the video out, it, it became a thing thing. So I be, I did the whole circuit of it for like a whole nother year. Yeah. Like, like I would have been done in 2006, but instead you I was done. You were doing a retirement. I, I was done in 2007. Like, yeah, I, with, with, as far as like flip mode. Like that's, oh, flip mode, that, but yeah, you're like just... that was the official like, okay, the, bye deal, bye. the deal is terminated. Why? Why? Yes, I just wanted to Shout out to you. Because I just, I just felt like, you know, I just felt like I was moving linear. I didn't feel like I was moving upward. I, I felt like, oh, what do I, you know, yeah, it's like, why, you know, why am I doing this thing when I'm over here, you know, rapping and doing records and sending them to the DJs myself? Like, what, yeah, like, at what, purpose. you know, like, what point are right. you... You know, what are you adding to my situation at this point? I'm getting older. I'm yeah. Medics 82. You know so what they, up? So they pop. So, like, because I'm sorry. You're welcome. Your album was underrated. I played the shit yeah, out of it. I bought it twice. Because oh, nice. I wore it out where it got scratched up. I get that from so, a lot of people. And so I was <laughs> angry, and then I bought it again. <laughs> and I was like, you, and I was just playing certain beats. I go, oh, it, was, it was well produced. I mean, beats that I had never heard before. Yeah, I, you know, you hear so much. T- yo, I had the creme de la creme of producers. Yeah. I had everybody. And, and all, I wanted, all I wanted was Pete Rock and Primo. I just wanted a whole album. All right. And Pete, Primo's I right. just wanted a whole yeah. album of Pete Rock and yeah. Primo. But I got my Pete Rock and I got my Primo. But shit, I had so people, Liners, you had, you had like a lot of real interesting like beats. They were so Not different. My, my radar. Oh, I'm supposed to be. I'm, look, I'm the, the moderator has turned. And you just got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's about so, it. so, so what, what, what other topics do we have, my <laughs> sister? Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, because I know we had some preconceived things that we wanted to talk about. Right, the stuff that we didn't get yeah. to. Um, so, we've got uh, the new Nike ads featuring, starring Colin Kaepernick. Oh, oh yes. Oh. Yeah, now, we getting made fun of. Great. Mike Tyson's is the funniest. I'm sorry. Have you seen it? I saw... I, uh, I didn't see Mike Tyson's. Yet. No, they started to make fun. They're like, so now it's like, you know, they have uh, uh, Terrence uh, Howard. Like, Did you some, see the Rakim one? Yeah, that was cold-blooded. Yeah. He said, sacrifice everything, even if it's... Wait, what was it? Is it no. Something about mumble rappers. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, oh, wait, 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 wait,
wait a minute. Man. It says, oh, <laughs> believe in real hip hop, even if it means sacrificing mumble rappers. <laughs> <laughs> then, the, okay. did you see the one with um, Bruce Jenner? Oh, no, I didn't see that. Because I refuse to call this nigga by his girl name. Caitlin? No, it's Bruce. He's very Bruce. So, so the Bruce Jenner one, it says, believe in something. <laughs> Even if it means cutting your dick off to play from the ladies' tees. That's no, Just do it. No. Have, it ain't sick. That's so mean. <laughs> Have you I'm saying that? that's the that's the okay, wait, 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 these are just memes. Right? Yes, these yes, yes. Okay, I'm like, People are making these memes. up. I'm like, wait a minute. Yo. These are not Nike ads. Have you Jesus seen the play Mayweather one? Are, oh, yeah. Yeah, the 50s. Y'all see this right here. That's the Rock Kim. Ah, wait, I saw that one. And then there's the Bruce Jenner one right here. Yeah, the old one. That was like, he must have did that himself. That was horrible. That was bad. That was oh bad. Okay, I'm like, these are not ad- I'm talking about real ad- Wait, wait, oh, wait, Mike Tyson's is uh wait a minute, Mike Tyson N- Nike ad? Oh I thought y'all was talking about commercials. I'm about to say, wait, they got the guy where I killed in the commercial. Y'all talking about me. No, no, here we go. No, this, no, okay, here we go. This is some internet shit. This wait, is here's my wait, is there Mike Tyson? Hello. Where's Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson's oh uh, come on! This is like oh uh, <laughs> it's the it's the listening thing. Damn it! Mike Tyson, wait, come on! I saw it. It was good. But uh, well, they, they got a Cardi B one that says, just throw it. Oh, oh now that's, that's brand new. Like, that's she's, so new. She's throwing her shoe. Right, nighttime, Nike ad. Come on, Nike ad. Come on! So come. How, how are we feeling about Nike right now? Like, well, well... I, I thought Nike was uh, made a good little... Well, as business, that was smart. That was a smart move. You know what I mean? So now, I think Nike has invested in the NFL, right? Nike just supported Colin Kaepernick. So now, it's like it's almost like Nike is secretly telling the NFL, what you going to do now, dude? You know what I mean? Because that was, to me, a great move. It's like you're supporting him. Of course, it's going to sell, you know, because Nike's about business. And it's like, hey, man, what are you going to do, NFL? We supporting Colin Kaepernick on what he did. And and the NFL's like, damn it. They, they don't they sponsor half the NFL? Don't they wear all Nike shit? So now it's like, what are you gonna do? And either way for Nike, this is a win for them. You know Nike needs victory. Come on, man. So this is I thought it was a smart move because I wanna give me a Colin cap. I mean you got you got you got devils out here burning their Nikes with their feet still in them oh, type of shit. It. Oh, and it's only white people right. putting in their shit, and I knew that because they didn't show up. But, the but but here's the thing, man. Like, you know, I don't like to take nothing on face value, okay? Right. And you know, we just have to be weird, wary of certain things. Like the same way, Black Lives Matter is not necessarily. Well, I'm not even going to say not necessarily. That's not our movement. Like That's a movement that's been tried. They tried to give that to us. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Um, there's a man by the name of George Soros that really that's funded the, that the, shit. The George Soros is the guy, one of those big families that are trying to take exactly. over the world. So, so, so anyway, but, 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 the but, 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 but here's the thing. Okay. If you really think about it... <clears throat> Somebody like Colin Kaepernick was very racially ambiguous before all this shit happened. Like, before he grew out his afro and started yeah. wearing braids, yeah. he was one of those niggas that you look like, and you're like, is he white? Is he black? Like, like I'm not even sure. I'm trying to see where I can go to spit off camera uh, and shit. Like, oh, the camera's just right uh, there. Y'all just, just get the whole get up and, and Just go and spit just keep over it there. Right. Yeah, just keep it raw. You can get up and, uh, and walk off no, camera. I got my little snot tissue right here. Um, Because <laughs> I'm going to get up and go piss in a minute. Wow. Um, I know I'm going to need a, a smoke break at some point. Dump. <laughs> He's like, I got to take a dump. I'm going to that since we're all at it. Body liquids. <laughs> <laughs> Body exclusions. <laughs> Let me get one in. Um, my point being, listen, 
No revolutionary leader has ever come out of the NFL. Right. Nor has any revolutionary leader ever been sponsored by Nike. Like, think about it. Would would Malcolm X have been sponsored by Nike? Would would Muhammad Ali when he was protesting right. the Vietnam mm -hmm. War mm -hmm. and did not go mm -hmm. to fucking fight for those motherfuckers and went to jail, would they have sponsored Muhammad Ali? Nope. Even though Nike wasn't really a thing at that time, but whoever the top sports shit would ever last, would they have sponsored Muhammad Ali at that time? No, they wouldn't. So let's just... Be weary okay. and 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 not be so reticent okay. to accept these motherfuckers that we might be given. Now, I let me, had I, I'm gonna say let now let me do my favorite thing. I just wanna say real advocate. quick and I just wanna say mm -hmm. I had a discussion with an NFL player. Okay, mm -hmm. shout out my man C. O. Moore, who used to play from the uh, for the Raiders. I talked to this man for at least an hour and a half on the phone, and he brought up a lot of great fucking points about this, and I, I hope we can get him on the Godcast very soon. Um, but anyway, go ahead and say what you wanted to say, because I know you like to be devil's advocate. Oh, God's advocate. But anyway, go ahead. Um, go ahead and be devil's advocate. Go ahead. So... Um, <laughs> Don't you think that, like, a lot of the celebrities now that they have, like, wouldn't it be worse if these people that did have these platforms didn't speak up? Like, maybe now is the time where, you know, I don't know where we're going to, I don't know if we'll ever have another Malcolm, another Martin from the streets in that capacity. But what we do have are people that do have that exposure and visibility starting these conversations I don't think I don't think we should diminish their capacity or it makes the message any less because it's coming from a rich person or a person that's already famous that's not what I'm saying what I'm saying is we need to be weary when the powers that be because first of all truth is the enemy of the powers that be mm -hmm. so if the powers that be are supporting a certain person, giving the people a certain person, we need to be weary of that. That's all. Maybe he is legit. I'm just saying, let's not swallow this whole, let's not take this Trojan horse so readily without checking what's inside. You talk, you're talking about the move that Nike made. I'm talking Not about. Kaepernick I'm both. talking about both. Listen, I'm talking I don't about think anybody is because I don't think because swallowing the whole thing. I think everybody's like, okay, this is cool. But because we else? know, you know what I mean. Like we know this is a business it. move on on of Nike's course part. It's a business move. But what I'm saying is, since when do does corporate America give us our revolutionary heroes? Like yeah. since when has that happened? Since when has has a true speaker for the people come out of organized sports? Well, you know, I mean, Jim, Jim Brown. Brown. Jim Brown. Yeah, yeah, and I will say that. And he collected. I will give you Jim Brown is a oh, real motherfucker. It's a different time Jim now. Brown everything is social time. media. Everything is like everything is like instant microwave. Like I, I just think we're in a, you know, we're not in such a grass. My 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 anymore. brother C. O. Moore would argue that. Kaepernick's kneeling wasn't so much about actually s supporting what he says he supports as it was to make money for Colin Kaepernick, who wasn't necessarily at a certain place where he could have really got the bag. Listen. Hmm. I mean, hey, I know he no, was out nobody, of that. Nobody's turning a blind eye to that last. He's season. almost saying yeah, he, from I, an inside. Now, this is what, from what, an inside what, man. What, this what, is from what, an inside what, man, what, and what, he's telling me that Kaepernick's move was almost some genius marketing ploy. 
I swear we got to get CO more on this yeah, fucking show because yeah. he I, I I need him to articulate this because he's really studied this for you know so he's Kaepernick was like he's on the inside of okay, this NFL career, shit. I may may not be doing that well. Listen, ain't nobody going to necessarily give me the big bag for anything. Nike wasn't necessarily no. endorsing him like this before this and now, now all like, of a sudden i don't have to show up to practice i don't have to get tackled shit and i can make that same amount of money just that's on the strength of some and all i gotta do is grow my hair out, out and start wearing braids Ooh. and, and, and dashikis and shit like that this style. thing yo, i see he's wearing dashikis it's almost like yeah. but i'm not saying i don't know Until i'm just saying this, crack yeah. this shell and get to the yoke like, don't take this on face value. And that's all I'm saying, because he could be realer than real. Maybe his heart is truly in this, but this also could be a fucking ploy. And that's what we have to be weary of. That's and all I'm trying to well, say. You know, well, I do think with any movement, any revolutionary, there is always going to be these sanctions that attach themselves to the well, situation. Uh, come on. Um... They got footage of Malcolm X. Y'all gonna have to hold this. I'll be right back. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. be right back. Oh, so we're not talking. It's live. Yes, yeah. keep talking. So listen, this, this is live. This is what I'm thinking. Keep talking. Um, even there's a footage of Malcolm X. And you know, Malcolm X did not play that shit. He called everybody out. And he's talking about the the, uh, the March on Washington was planned. Mm -hmm. Because black people... Mm. We're about to go into the streets and start whooping white folks' ass. They were like, fuck this. We're tired of getting fucked with. We are taking it to the streets. We're going to start fucking people up. We're going to be gunned up, and we're going to start fucking smashing. Period. And then the government got wind of it. J. Edgar Hoover and shit, they were like, listen. So they called the big six. And then in the, in the movie Selma, even, like, there were a lot of conversations yeah, they, with, with Martin Luther King. They like, called, okay, we got to keep peace. Yeah, they called the big six. Whitney Young, Martin Luther King. They called six leaders and said, listen, we heard, we, we don't want to, we don't want, the natives are getting restless. This is D.C., 80% black. We don't want our people to get beat up in the streets. And then they gave them six-figure salaries. And they said, what we're going to do is we're going to have a march. You know, everybody, Tony Bennett came, everybody. All, we're going to have a march where black, white, everybody's going to come together. We're going to have an organized march. And we're gonna have, and they wrote the speech for Martin Luther King, but he, you know, he smashed it. But they wrote the speech for him. So and Martin Luther, and, and Malcolm X, you can you can YouTube that shit. He goes, mm -hmm. and Malcolm is like, I'm telling you, they paid each person. They paid them um, six figures, and then after the march was over, they paid them again. I'm telling you, it's right there. I'm not lying to you. You, you know, he ain't lying. Mm -hmm. And they and I learned this in college that it was all set up. They were like, please. And that's why we had the March on Washington. It was peaceful because black people were about You mean to tell me all the niggas, nobody acted? Yeah. <laughs> nobody yes. showed their ass. And they, Unbelievable. And we, and we have a history of being shut down from being... There's a famous poem. Okay, speaking of shut down, we're going to have to shut this down. The Miss America pageant is on. We got to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Langston Hughes has a, a poem. Very, It's a very simple poem. He said, and I don't know, it is not... I'm just paraphrasing. He says... The Negro, docile and mild, beware of the day the Negro rises. And he was like, we are the only race that has, we have every right to snap and start beating everybody's ass. We have been shit on. We continue to get shit on. We give everybody our heart. We give everybody our culture, our caring. We do everything. We take care of old white people. We take care of white children. We've taken care of the planet. And yet we still get disrespected. If we look for dignity, we get shit on. Everyone, we're back to being niggas if we go, hey, it's not fair that you're doing this to me. Nigga, you know, we're only, we're only labor to these people. If we're not sexually satisfying them, if we're not monetarily satisfying them, we ain't shit to them. We have every right, literally, every right to knock anybody that don't look like us the fuck out. Because we, we've been ravaged and raped and beaten and we haven't even taken that same amount of violence on other people. We sit there, we pray, and a lot of times these black churches fucking stymie us too. Like, did you see those black preachers talking to Trump saying, you them, you, you're blacker than Barack Obama? Did you see that coming shit? No. You didn't see it? It was no. a They came to meet Donald Trump. 
They had a meeting. They said, you black it in a parade. Yeah, like I'm going to submit Trump. I'm going to just tell you what they, you've done for the black church. They got and, made. And, oh, and yeah, Trump's yeah. like this. I appreciate what you've done. I really do. I appreciate Oh, I can do my Trump is nasty. Dude. Like, you guys are really great. I love black people. Black people are great. I swear. You niggas. I mean, you people. Are great. You take forever. You take forever. I love every black man. I know, I know Rick Juan. I know the Black Panther. I, you know, I love them all. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Did, you didn't see that shit? Nice. It was like three weeks ago. And, and Don Lemon even questioned one of the pastors like, he said, why would you go over there? What were you doing? And the guy goes, well, God spoke to me. <laughs> he said, God spoke to you. He said, go talk to Trump. Yo, he it was, was free thinking. It was, yeah, he was thinking. <laughs> and I was like, and, and, and the black church, and I'm not disrespecting the black church. First of all, it was our safe. It was slaves, safe oh, haven. The black church has done a lot. But nowadays, oh, I boy. really believe this, that they're connected. Some of them are connected and are in cahoots. With the powers that be, absolutely. And, well, you know, man, right. cre man created religion no to, to divide the people. No, like, no to, to, doubt. You know, to be a person of no God doubt. is to be yes. spiritual. Yes. Religious people are people that just follow, you know, follow whatever they're being told by a person that they feel. Well, you know, I, I'm, religion as it stands now, because original religion is not meant to do that. It's actually meant to. Supposed to reconnect you to your spiritual self. Right. But the religion as it's practiced now, especially yeah, by matters, Europeans, is perverted out. and is used to actually take the power away from the people and to, to, and to spiritually yeah. rob them as, uh, rather than to spiritually enrich them. It's dividing people. Of a person stands, you know, stands at the altar and gives their interpretation of what hey, yeah. you know. What, where did you? What churches were you part of? I grew up in. My parents were Episcopalian. It's basically second string Catholic bullshit. I went to Catholic school from first grade to freshman year of high school, so I was always angry at that shit. I had to go. We had to go to Sunday school. Me and my brother, and my sister had to go to Sunday school the whole nine, and you, you, and you couldn't question shit. I even took theology class freshman year in high school. This black dude teaching at this all white high school theology. Okay. He was, he was, I wasn't brought up in a church like that. I, okay. at, at age 19, I took Shahada on my own. Oh, cool. See, at 19, that's pretty good. Okay. You kind of think it. Through. I came up in the Jehovah Witness Ooh, back. My father was you win. Jehovah Witness. You so win. My father was Jehovah Witness. You win. So, he, I, he, couldn't, he I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. Um, no birthdays. I, hang on. No birthdays. Ooh. No Christmas. Ooh. No. No Halloween. Ooh. No. No. That explains everything. That's why you're <laughs> so mad now. That's why you yell at me every week. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't do it. I couldn't. I couldn't oh, pledge of allegiance. You pledge of allegiance, which is who cares? That's a well, good, a little bit that. at first. The birthday. That's that's. Do it. At first. When you're a little kid in first grade, yeah. you don't necessarily want to be singled out that's yeah. true. for some shit that's like true. that. Everybody's that's coming true. back to school. Yeah, with like, well, kids well, and, well. And, yeah. No, my father was over with us. I get it. And and he really had to do the, like, knock on the door with my grandfather with the uh, with the watchtower. Listen, my grandmother, grandma was a my grandmother, she, she wasn't down with it. So, <laughs> my, you know, she, she used to try to do little things to, like, Offset the that's, shit, that's, like like my, my mom's. My mom's was like, better not give these boys no damn gifts on December twenty wow. fifth. I well then I'll give it to them on like December seventeenth or something. You see, so now like like they, they still did stuff for you, so you wouldn't feel bad. Not my mother, no, my they, grandmother. They don't. Would. My grandmother no, they would. Really don't my mother like wouldn't do thing. it. But my my grandmother would do it. You, the okay. Wins, the Jacksons. Rest in peace, Dorothy Brody. Love Fun you. grandma. Um, you. But but this woman, you know, like so so so. Long story short, me and my brothers, we come into school fresh a week early. Like like like. Uh, <laughs> you know, everybody. Okay. Like okay. I would I would almost sometimes either either I come early or I'd have to have the discipline to wait. Okay. And yeah. not wear my shit. Okay. 
and then so come back as if I got some Christmas okay, shit. Okay. But a lot of times I'll be like, fuck that. I got my shit before y'all. And so everybody waiting for their Christmas shit. And I'm coming with my early, like, apology, you know. Yeah. Sorry that you don't uh, celebrate Christmas shit. Right. And I got my fucking sheepskin on and all kind of ill shit. Nice. You know what I mean? Right. But, 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 but now, yeah. it just shows how material things ain't shit. Because... You know, maybe two, three weeks go by, and now that sheepskin is just yes. a, it's just a coat. Yeah, you see, it's just a coat, and now your man got a brand new fucking sheepskin for Christmas, and it's still you're still kind of like, damn, you know what I mean? Like, it's just some bull. Like material shit don't yeah. last. Like that fucking happiness don't last. I don't give a fuck what car you get. You get a Bentley tomorrow. I learned that lesson when my house burned down. Like, wow. Like, I had, I had so, I probably had a two, three million dollar wardrobe that all just burned to the ground. And, Damn. But after it was all said and done and I got the insurance payout, I'm like, fuck that shit. <laughs> I couldn't even fit that shit anywhere. I was a size two then. I don't wore it on TV already. Who cares? What I'm saying, you like, buy... I really learned, like, wow. none of that shit matters. Yeah. Like, you buy a Bentley... I could have been dead. In the you house. buy a Bentley, and after a month or so, it's just my car. Yeah. You buy a chain, uh, some diamonds... It's just a fucking, it's just a necklace yeah. after a while. Yeah. You see, like, all of this shit just wears off. Like, like, is like. It's a hell of a drug. Like, bitch. you, you, you. It's oh, oh, I'm on a, I'm on a, I'm on a private jet. You know, it's just a flight after yeah. a while. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, none of I this shit. Even if you're in coach, you all know, of that you shit know you is land fleeting. first, right? <laughs> huh? If you're in coach, you land first, so you have a better fucking session. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> like I got here before you, son. Dance <laughs> first. Fuck you. First class, you land later. <laughs> <laughs> like this, baby. That's the way the plane lands. <laughs> yeah. We the first class, son. Yeah, <laughs> so now, yeah. son. We touch first, son. You hear me? All you coach people don't feel bad. You touch first. Then business came first. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's a great one right there. That's, that's cute. I was like, get you one of them flights. Get you one of them flights. That's hilarious. We all y'all the same. We all the same <laughs> on this motherfucker. We all first class. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Ooh, man. Southwest is Greyhound with wings, boy. All right. And it's all middle seats left. <laughs> I'm going to shout out. I want to shout out Mr. Derek 2000. <laughs> All middle seats. Like, all middle seats. All the I time. learned my lesson. That is funny. Uh, Mr. Derek 2000 said, what up, God? I thank you. We need you. Me and my son been going at it since the skirt video and the hillbilly rapper. I can't understand for the life of me how we we're always giving up what we invented. Rod Digger, mad respect. Godfrey, need more funny, man. Fam. Wow, tell that, tell Jamar hip hop needs brains like mine to focus on lyricism. Yo, you guys, <laughs> shut up! Do me this favor, guys. Go check out Dirty Harriet. According to Jamar, fuck out of here! No, no, what? Okay, <laughs> I'm, gonna ask, hold on. I'm gonna ask God for your question. Yes. Your question. Okay, yes. let's say, let's take, um, Okay. Watch I'm a smasher. Whatever, whatever she no, says. No, what whatever she says. Watch I'm a that's fucking smasher. Go ahead. Yeah. Who's that's question? Go ahead. Okay. What's up? F- favorite member of, of the locks. Favorite member of um Jadakiss. Why? Um, I just like his swag, I like his voice. I just thought he was the most talented of all of them. You think he rested that? Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the, whoa, whoa, what's the first that? thing he said though? He said I like his swag. Was the okay. first thing he said. Jada was like, I just like the way he holds his, you know. Now, like, oh. now let me ask you something. If Jada, if, do you believe that Jada Kiss is a real nigga? Yes. From, from, from what you've been well, what exposed I've seen to. And what I've seen him in interviews, and, yes. Now, if he wasn't a real nigga, what Jada Kiss is saying, would it resonate with you? No. Would you buy it? Would you fuck with it coming from somebody that's corny? No, I would not. Um, because so, it's, so, it's, so, it's, so, it's, so, it's, so, 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 so,
No, no, but this is what I'm so saying. Man, no, this so is, this is the argument. Do you so, feel like, so, so, yeah. no, 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 no. So, 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 Look, Godfrey. 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 So, so Dude, who's saying? You know that let's let's suggest that. Any less of a real nigga? Who? Do you feel that Styles P is any less of a no, real nigga? No, Styles is Do you feel that she is St- any less of a real? They nigga? all real niggas. They all real niggas. That's the cool. That's, that's why we like the they lie. The best because he rapped the best. No, Styles P. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not proving a point. No, that's the, the here's the thing. Here's the thing. No, 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 no. First of all, the all the whole I love the locks. You asked you asked him who he likes the best in the locks. I asked him who he likes what? the best. Out of three real niggas. Out of three real Now niggas. but but see we started like from a foundation of real niggas. Now now But 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 you're, you're proving, you're proving my point. You're right. proving my point. First of all, one of us were wrong. Both of our points is right. you're, 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 you're dealing with. Well, okay, so I'm you know showing you what the foundation you're is. You're dealing with the whole package perspective. Yes, Start and you're with, only you're dealing with an isolated and portion I'm, of and it. I'm, and I'm dealing with okay. what is the most important to a person that considers themselves a lyricist. But I consider you act like I don't consider myself a lyricist. I do. And I don't like the way you fucking presume that. And I don't like the fucking way you say that. I am a lyricist. Because I'm a girl. Because this is a man's fucking game. Because this is a man's game. So don't tell a man what he should like. Now I'm telling you. Not many. Not many. No, girls birthed all these niggas. There's girls. There's girls. Women birthed all these men. Birth the juice crew. Motherfucking little Kim. No, 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 no. They didn't didn't birth their styles. They didn't birth no styles. They gave them opportunities, but they didn't birth the styles. Lyrically, no one. No female has birthed the style. Don't act like the female style. role is insignificant. In I'm not history. saying it's insignificant. I'm saying this is a male game. No, that's all. So just like you don't want me to tell you don't female like shit, female don't tell me about male shit. I ain't telling you about male okay, shit. Okay, well, yeah, sometimes you are. Opinion don't count. This I didn't say it don't count. Yo, yes. No, no, no. Who was a real nigga? Yes. <laughs> you were a real nigga. Now, yes, no. all I'm saying is. Listen, listen. All I'm saying is yes. the foundation we build off of okay. is the fact that the type of person you are matters. Of then we go. Hold up, hold up. Then we. That, can I finish I saying? With why are you not said. letting me finish he my thought? With why are you I not? Say. I'm saying. I never disagree with I'm what saying, saying. Then you we get. Both make sense. Then you Let's get see. to where. Of course. Who's technically proficient that's why yes then we would pick a jada kiss maybe out of the three because we think technically and punch lines or whatever the case may be that out of those three real niggas yeah he um, is the one that rhymes it in a in a in a, in a way that is the most attractive to and, us and, and now what i'm saying to that is there are people, and I'm not saying you're not a lyricist, says Jamar. Come on, dude, yeah. let's keep it. Right, right, but you act like I don't care about no, that. No. I do. But you, I can't, do. But you can't keep saying lyricist is a small thing. Well, 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 because he said, that that's, a, he a, said lyricist is a so what? <laughs> he said lyricist is a so what? It's a so what when it comes to people like Eminem because. Let he is a whack nigga. So at the end of the day, just putting girl. words together girl. doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That's a so what. That's a so what to me. And I don't, I don't disagree with that. Right. But you can't, dis, you can't discount or discredit the the artists that consider themselves rap nerds that ain't in the street. Okay. They ain't drug dealers. They just rap and Can we rap hang on? on the rap. Can we address these rap. people right, right here? You know, Rakim my, didn't come from the ghetto. Look, my shit is... Look, Rakim came from a jazz family. My, my, can we address this real quick? You can be black, white, green. Motherfucker, you come from the garbage can. If you come from the... If you come up talking, yo, I'm, I'm Austin, Oscar the Grouch eating lobster, and pasta, and trout... Fucking put my Glock to your snout, start clapping your mouth like I'm gonna be like yo. Ask us that yes, nigga. That's funny. Make myself that's a funny. Maybe the, my dirty maybe the first time. 
Nigga, yeah, the first time. Pasta. That's I'm funny. But listen, can we finish? Can, can, look, we, can we move now, on? Now, oh, wait, wait. This is track no, one. This is a rabbity rap bitch talking now. This is the now. Oh, I can hear my goodness. goodness. Now, what I'm saying, <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying. Don't listen is, to Dance to My Ministry and we'll gonna, talk about rabbity rap. I'm going to hear some shit like that. Go listen to Dance to My Ministry. And I'm going to be like, whoa, this motherfucker got my attention. Right. Then I'm going to analyze their journey. Right. Then I'm going to analyze how real they are, and how their music resonates with me. Right. And determine if this is some shit that I want to keep in rotation. Gotcha. Now, he argued with me that whole fucking episode that that's backwards. No, it's about who the nigga is first. And then I'm going to pay attention but to what he's saying. I think, I right. think, I think, I think, We're every, just two different I think people. everybody I don't think... dissects it differently. Exactly. Right? What's wrong with that? <laughs> You know, maybe not my he does it his way. You do it your way. But when I, Everybody has and then when I try way. to express my way, he start yelling at that me. That is why I'm, I'm here. A, I'm a woman. This you're is my you're a woman. Can we you're move young. on? Because know. people in the chat are going crazy, and they want to talk about this young buck thing. Stand, divided we fall. Two fingers together, the real peace sign, y'all. Brand Nubian peace gear. Hoodies. T shirts. Snapbacks. Available at hoodchee.com. Get yours today.